back to our channel. I'm teacher Cedric, and today we are going to look at some word and travel problems from the RI exam this year. Let us start with the first problem. Jack to due salary is four to three per month. Jack's spending to due spending is 11 to seven. Now, if they save $9,000 each year, find Jack's salary per month. Now, we know that if I take Jack's salary minus Jack's spending, there would just be Jack's saving. And if they save $9,000 each year, that would correspond to $750 every month. So the difference between Jack's salary to Jack's spending is $750 as well as the difference between due salary and due spending, $750. Now, how do I work out Jack's salary per month? We know in order to solve this kind of ratio problems, we first need to find a common ground. Let me give you this example. Now, if I have a certain amount of money, teacher Jonah have $100 more than me. Now, if we both spend $200, we see that teacher Jonah will still have $100 more than me. The same applies here. We see that this difference, 4 minus 3, which is 1, and the difference, 11 minus 7, which is 4, should be the same. How do we unify them? Well, we could multiply the first ratio by 4. So then now, Jack's salary to Jill's salary is 16 to 12. From there, it is quite obvious that five units of money, which is the difference between 16 and 11, is just $750. And since we know five units is $750, to work out Jack's salary, we simply find 16 units of money, which is just $2,400. And that solves the first problem. So the next time, if you see such word problem involving ratios, make sure you first find a common ground. It could be the sum, it could be the difference, or it could be one of the number here. Now let us move on to the next question. There are 600 villages in A, 400 villages in B, 30% of male A is male, 60% of B is male. If some villages transfer from A to B, a will be 40% male, or B will still be 60% male. Find how many people transfer. Since there are a lot of percentage here, it remind me of the concentration problem. Does it? We can take this town A as solution A with 30% concentration. This town B as solution B with 60% concentration. So at the beginning, if we mix up these two solutions, I will get 42% concentration. But if I shift some amount of people from the town A to town B, we see that this total concentration should not change. So after I have shifted some people from town A to town B, now town A has 40% concentration and town B has 60% concentration. But the total concentration should be the same. That's 42%. And from here, we can use the crossing method. We take four, we find a difference between 40 and 42, that's two. We find a difference between 60 and 42, that's 18, to find that the ratio of A to B is nine to one. And since the total number of people is still 1,000 villages, this will simply correspond to 900 villages and 100 villages. And from there, we see that from 600 villages to 900 villages, 300 villages have been shifted. Now let us move on to the next problem. Alice and Bob are traveling from X to Y respectively. Alice's speed was 1.5 times Bob's speed. When they reach each other starting point, they turn back immediately. The difference between the first time they met and the second time they met was 350 meters. Find the total distance of x, y. Let me draw this diagram. So I have Alice on the left, 
bob on the right. And let's assume they first meet up here. They continue traveling to X and Y, and they, they immediately turn back. Now, when they meet up each other for the second time, the difference, the distance between this point and this point is 350 meters. Now, let me write out every information that we know. We know the speed ratio of A to B, Alice to Bob, is three to two. So for that first meetup, we see that they have traveled a total distance of one X, Y. So this distance ratio would equal the speed ratio. So if this is three U's of distance, this will be two units of distance. Now, what happened next? When they meet up for the second time, we see that they have traveled a total distance of two X, Y. So if A can travel three units of distance in one X, Y, she can travel six units in two X, Y. So as B, two units, four units. So this means that these two yellow arrows would add up to four units. And since we know this is already three units, this is already two units, we can work out that this distance must be one unit and this must be four units. So that these two blue arrows would add up to six units and these two yellow arrows would add up to four units. And from here, we see that this 350 meters is the difference between these three units and one unit. So we know two units of difference of, of distance would correspond to 350 meters. And from there, we can easily work out the total distance of XY, which is five units, that's 875 meters. And that solved our last problem for today. Now, if you find this lesson useful and you would like to learn more about our exam, SMOPS exam, as well as sit in for our free online lesson, make sure you join our WeChat study group by scanning this QR code. I'm teacher Cedric, and I'll see you soon.